Okay, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to show how to put dimensions in a rendering so you can send it to the customer to get uh, th give them an idea of uh, what they uh, you know are getting the size and thicknesses and stuff like that and then make a render to be able to send to them uh, so I've got a ring that I made from uh, Matrix 9 quite a while ago uh, back in November I think so I have this ring here and uh, going to uh, put some dimensions on it first well first let's do a render since it's matrix 9 uh, you can see nothing's applied so okay let's let's go ahead and go to our render uh, open up the render and we'll go ahead and uh, first uh, click on matrix goal or matrix classic and give it something there and I don't have anything uh, so there's no materials applied so uh, I'll go to my white gold and apply it and then I'll select my gemstones switch them to diamond and apply that and uh, take a look at it my render mode and I have my metal but I don't have my gemstones uh, that's because it was imported I don't think matrix gold recognizes those as gemstones uh, so what you have to do is you have to go to uh, your uh, M there up in the top left click on it and go down to legacy import and then click it and it r it'll pop up the following legacy components were found select the items you would like to convert to dynamic commands so I want to select my gems and I'll go ahead and take my ring rail too why not and convert it okay and then I'm just going to uh, go back to render here and now I, you can see I, I have the gems there so now it, it's, it's uh, able to be rendered no problem uh, so sometimes when you import from Matrix 9 you'll have to convert some of the stuff to the Matrix Gold system I guess uh, so we want to add some uh, dimensions here for our customers to take a look at so uh, it's a good thing to have something to snap to so I'm going to take my gem here and go to my gems uh, menu and just go ahead and put a curve on that and I'm just going to put it right in place there. Uh, and then I'm going to go to my dimensions and uh, select on my dimension and with my snaps on uh, I'm going to snap to that curve there that curve there well let's turn on my quads and let's change this to red so it's easier to see uh, and then I'll go to uh, my dimensions and I'll snap to this quad over to this quad and then drag it out so that the customer can tell that's a 7.2 millimeter round stone and let's just add a couple more on here uh, let's go to this view here and we need something to snap to right uh, so let's see let's turn off near and point keep our mid and end and our quad and let's kind of snap to this quad to that quad and we'll go to our top view and drag it out it's a 2.29 millimeter thickness right there and we'll come down here to this large point here to that large point here and we'll okay it snapped to the wrong area so we'll go to this point to this point yeah and then bring that out so they can kind of see that that's a uh, 6.9 in the, the bottom there uh, what else um, well we'll just do that you can go through and add anything you want uh, so what we'll do at this point is we'll just uh, do a, a rendering here with your active viewport you could do it from the top or you could you know whatever you know maybe you want angles uh, on everything or dimensions on everything however you want to lay them out that's uh, however you want uh, but we'll just take it so that we can kind of see where go to our let's just zoom in here so we can get a so they can kind of see that this part is a 2.9 this part is a 6.9 that that is a 7 and we'll drag it down a little bit okay and then we'll just go to our render and do a render I'll turn on my denoiser 
and we'll have to wait till this renders. Uh, you can see in the rendering itself, it's uh, not there. Uh, it won't be shown. Actually, let's close out of that. I don't like that one. Let's set it up a little bit different here. Something like this, maybe. And let's do a render from here and turn on the denoiser. And we'll have to wait till it gets to the 150. Just about there. All right, so it did the 150 passes and we have a render here for the, the ring. Uh, and now what you need to do is you need to go into your post effects, make sure that's clicked, uh, and then click on your plus sign here and then you have an option to choose uh, different things. Uh, bloom, glow, fog, depth of field, multiplier curves, uh, surface edges and ISO curves. That one's pretty cool. So if you turn that one on and click on it, it it'll, and then you have to update it. So it'll go to your RGBA channels, just switch back. Uh, so it kind of gives some of the curves there. Uh, but anyway, let's get back on uh, points, dimensions, and text. So if you click on that, let's get rid of the this one here, and then click on it. Uh, it'll show you your uh, dimensions, and then you can save this uh, to uh, a document or something, uh, your desktop or whatever, and then email it to your customer. So it'll give you a little uh, view of what it is. Uh, let's go back here because there's some other things. Uh, some of these aren't very good. Uh, let's see, glow fog. Uh, bloom is kind of uh, uh, not probably very useful. <laughs> uh, so let's just click that, close that one out. Uh, let's see, bloom glow is kind of the same thing. You can kind of mess around with it, but I don't think that it's really all that uh, useful myself uh, so we'll click off that close that one out uh, depth of fields not too bad though you can go in and just uh, pick a point and say you want this here to kind of show up and then it kind of be foggy down here and you can adjust it uh, down here uh, and you can kind of play around with these settings uh, but it will give you some a different look if you want it uh, multiplied out there. Uh, curves, it just uh, kind of shows your curves that you have on the ring or the item. Let's close off that. Uh, surface and ISO curves. Uh, I think we did that. Did we do that one? Yeah. Oh, it goes to like a, an ISO curve thing. It shows you ISO curves. Uh, yeah if you're trying to do some kind of rendering. Points, you have to add points in there and then they'll show up uh, in your your menu here. You can also go to Tone. Uh, this one you can change some things here. I don't really mess around with that too much. But Final Pass, uh, this one's kind of interesting. You can uh, change it around to get a little bit better uh, view and look at your item kind of this one's not a bad tool to to play around with uh, but it can offer a, a little bit better look at your your item and kind of show off the things that you want uh, and you also have some options here you can go into hue saturation and change those kind of things around uh, restore defaults uh, but that's kind of some stuff you can mess around with. Uh, blur. Mm. I'm not really sure what all that's about. Uh, probably uh, not a very useful tool. Uh, and what else do we have here? Uh, oh, watermark. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, noise. Uh, you can noise is just all that uh, pixelation stuff. Uh, so that's probably not real useful unless you're doing something you know, it's, it's there so let's turn off gamma 
uh, and let's get rid of that okay uh, noise let's get rid of that and the the one watermark what it does is it'll add some text down here at the bottom and you can uh, kind of change that around to whatever style you want as far as lettering uh, font size you can you can make it bigger uh, so it just gives you kind of some uh, information on the date. You can change the the coloring, background co or letter coloring or background coloring, the transparent transparency. If you want to make it a little uh, more transparent, less transparent, so it's really standing out. Uh, there's there's a lot you can do here. Uh, with that if you want to add it but uh, that's basically how you would add the dimensions on to be able to send uh, to your customer uh, hope that helps uh, but uh, post effects uh, you know there's a couple things in there that are pretty uh, nice to add and then a final pass uh, I think uh, well so we already have it to hue and saturation Let's turn that off. Watermark, let's turn that off. Uh, this one here I think is uh, kind of useful myself. Uh, but uh, there you go. Uh, hope it helps. Uh, if it does, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, comment below. Thanks for watching.